Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I have achieved a whole new level of, dear God, this is how, this, this is the next step in my content creation journey. Where one of the tags in a TikTok video I'm putting up today is hashtag validate me daddy. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday. If you watch the TikTok, you'll understand. And post. Lord have mercy on my soul. 2200? What? Unknown. Un oh my god, no. Come on. I've been having a lot of internet issues, so just let me know if anything seems off today in today's stream, especially since it's a sponsored stream. By HelloFresh! We can get 20 free meals. You get three random meals if you use that code for cheap. It's really good. You should do it. Not sure why a lot of... I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of social media went down over the weekend for whatever reasons you guys want to go with. But, alright. I'll do it again. I gotta get this up right now because that's the only time it'll work. Actually, let me check to see if it was posted. Sometimes it posts. It doesn't tell you. It just says it's broken. Hope you're having a good one, Kami. Good to see you. Who said to click on that? I just want to look at my profile, please. But yeah, today's gonna be a bit of a, uh... Today's gonna be a bit of a mixed day of things that we're playing. We're gonna start with a couple of Steam Next Best games that does end at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you guys wanna see any demos, make sure you get them in. This is the final day for Steam Next Best. I've had a lot of uh, fun with it because there were, a lot, there were actually a couple of games that I'm looking at getting in the future. So, really excited for that. Um, I've really enjoyed Dungeon Drafters. Hero is fascinating. Uh, Die in the Dungeon, we've already tried, and that was part of Steam Next Fest. Same thing with Super Auto Battlemon. Like, there's a lot of games I'm actually looking forward to putting into my library. Uh, unfortunately, they won't make it in time for the Rogue and Randomizer Marathon, but... Either way, um... It was nice to try them. We got a couple more that I want to try today. One is a, t um... Turn-based strategy roguelike and another one is a tower defense automation game so it's like tower defense mixed with factorio which is interesting that's why i want to try it not sure how good i'll be at it because tower defenses are difficult for me no no shit ah unknown network what unknown network error why Oh, it actually is down. Oh, shit. Interesting. Alright, never mind that. I don't feel so bad. Can't stay on... T I can't stay on uh, schedule if, this, if the thing won't let me actually be on schedule. So, there's that. Yeah, so we've got that today. Sonic, good to see you. How you doing? Yeah, tower defenses are pretty fun, Harry. Good morning. I, I like they're different for me. I love like balloons is just a nice relaxing time. There are a couple of tower defense games I want to get. One's called Rogue Tower, which is a roguelike tower defense game. Very interesting game. Tons of balance is put into it. Um, another one that I got through. Another one that I got through. Humble Bundle it was called Legion TD2. It's a co-op, like like some of them are co-op anyways, but like it's a co-op wave tower defense sort of competitive one. It's it's kind of weird. I don't really know how to describe it because I haven't played it myself yet. But yeah, there's that. 
And then... Um, yeah, there's those two, and then there's another one today called Mob Factory. I was gonna say another one. Why did I think there was another tower defense I was interested in? I didn't really get into, like, dungeons, like the dungeon defender ones or stuff like that, but it could be a fun time. I think the rogue element gives it enough variety and just planning. I think for tower defenses, for me, a lot of it just needs to be, like... You know, it's okay to use the same towers, but give you different terrain, and something like Rogue Tower gives you different terrain all the time, which is great. How's your day going, Sonic? Hope you've been well. Yeah, by the way, for everyone who's asking about Archipelago, I know it's a long shot tomorrow. Engineers only? Oh, God, we did that. That was a nightmare. Actually a nightmare because we're all saying we're out of ammo and no one knows how to build stairs for each other. <laughs> we're doing all this cool platforming over giant chasms and all of a sudden we have to go up and we're like, oh. Okay. Oh, Kami! Come on. <clears throat> Please, peanut butter. That was spooky. I haven't had peanut butter stick like that in a long time. Um, I finally unlocked, I finally unlocked the Fat Boy overclock for the, uh, for the rocket launcher. So now I get to switch between the sniper and the rocket launcher. And my god, I understand now why Choke was wanted to lob that thing at you guys. It's so fun just to shoot it in between people. And do like a Michael Bay ending where you're just like walking you just got your two friends walking on the other side like okay if i aim it directly in the middle and just everything dies it's great it's wonderful it's absolutely spectacular i've gotten to the point now where i'm level 169 or something like that or 167 deep rock and i've unlocked a fair amount of overclocks for a lot of people like for everybody so I've been experimenting a little bit now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm finally... <laughs> How many hours in? How many hours in am I doing this? 537 hours in. I'm starting to actually experiment with different builds. That's almost going to pass Risk of Rain too. Holy crap. It's getting there. But yeah. Yeah, I hope I hope eventually tertiary items get overclocks here. They're gonna have to do something to keep it going, right? They have to do something. But yeah, with with the uh, with the archipelago tomorrow, it's okay if people can't join. I know it's a really hard slot for people to do because everybody's at work, and I'll explain that in the Discord as well later. Um, but it's I, it was unfortunately. I don't have any nights anymore, actually. The, the, my, my work has told me they can actually fill my nights, kind of. They're, it's it's still only two or three hours here or there. But, like, Monday to Saturday, I have tutoring. Which is nice, because that's more work, and that's more money. Um, and it doesn't interfere with stream either, so that's a double benefit. It does mean a lot of my streams will be a little bit shorter now, but not by much. Being realistic. And I got my weekends back, because Saturday so far is just the kid in the morning. But the Saturday kid who was at 4 p.m. has now asked for Wednesdays. And I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll take out my Wednesday nights in order for me to have my Saturday afternoon back. Because, like, again, I don't mind working weekends. I did that all the time as a teenager and, high, and, and in university. But that was, like, six, seven hours at a time. A random one-and-a-half-hour block, 4 p.m. on a Saturday blows. Because that's why I told him, like, if you could just put everyone together just to make it worth, like, it's not a long trip, but it's like, you know, it, it it sucks because you have to, you have to curve a lot of things around it. And 
usually I do actually end up filling my nights with some kind of stream work or something like that. It's just like, it's just very disruptive for no reason at all. If the kids can show up on the same day, let's have them show up on the same day. And if they can't, whatever, I roll with it. But I would much prefer just having everybody lumped because it also makes it easier to find other work to put on those days, right? At this point, the, the online one that I'm doing for a school board, it's 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 been three months, and they've sent me only these two kids part of the Simcoe program. That's it. Outside of that, there's been nothing. So, even though they pay more, they have a lot less work. Whereas this learning center is actually getting students and investing, so it's like they, they pay a, a lot less. But I'm getting a lot more work. And then hopefully I can leverage that... That experience to a better position. I think it'd be kind of exciting because I, I had that taste of running a learning center. Even though it was a position I was abused in. And just used for a couple months then dumped. Because they're like, oh I'm sorry, you can't match our six years of experience. When we asked for no experience when you applied, fuck you. You're fired. Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. But, um... I think I'd find fun with that. It'd be fun to supervise or manage a tutoring company. There's a lot of things that I'd want to do and, and actually explore budgets and, and educational processes that could actually enhance learning centers and make them stand out. Because I know there are... Now that I've worked at... Six different learning centers? A lot of them still don't do the things that I would suggest. Even though they say they follow the science, it's like, well, you don't have fidget devices in your science. I didn't mean to actually sip tea when I was saying that to sound snarky, but it actually works out perfectly. Fidget devices are the way of the future for a lot of students. Use them. Hell, you guys should use them if you need them. If it helps you keep focus, it has been it has been essentially proven or or very heavily suggested that fidget devices help with attention. Everybody's got that thing they're flicking, either the coin or the pencil or or tapping something or foot shaking. Fidget device is engaging for your attention. So you should do it. Oh god, you twirl do you twirl the beard, Harry? I try to remember what I used to do. I think it would be. I think I would click a pen. I think. No, my pens all had caps. I couldn't have. I had erasable pens when I was in school. I was hated. Oh, run your fingers through. That's fair. I'm trying to think what I do. I must do something. Because I definitely know. Like, I was good at. Um... I'm trying to think. Like, like, I definitely had good attention as a kid. I still like to believe I do. I think most of my, if any of my attention loss is simply because of stress. But I feel like when I was stressed, there was... What the hell did I do? Let me scratch my, let me scratch my chin, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. When I would get bored, I would throw the pen in the air and try and catch it. Oftentimes, I get the pencil in my eyeball. Or I'd hit the I'd hit the ceiling and crack my pencil. I had to go sharpen it. I was like, well, I guess I gotta get up down and not do work. Whoops. <laughs> stimming? What do you mean by stimming, Sonic? Yeah, you are doing that photo shoot. Are you excited for it? Well, I'm sorry. How excited are you for it? Yes, it worked. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Nightbot. I don't think I don't think Harry would feel right if he didn't have a beard. It's one of those like you don't want to assume when you talk to people by their by their um like by what they talk about and, and who they are and what they love. You don't want to sit there and be like, man, this guy is dwarf in his name. He's like a He's like a fantasy nerd, D&D, big neck beard. You know, the man probably has a pickaxe for a handle on his teacup. But then you're right sometimes. You're like, well, at least you're, you're at least, at least we're right. 
You're living what you spew, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I had I had the shaky leg. I definitely had restless leg. I think it might have been biting my nails, actually. That might have been. That might have been because I do bite my nails. Luckily, never got into biting toenails because that's disgusting. But biting fingernails, I do have that. I do have that nervous reaction. I've been trying to work on it. I've gotten better, but it's. It, it just, like, it just catches me off guard. I don't even notice, and then what happens is I start to obsess that, like, the nail is half broke, because I'm like, well, I gotta go finish it, but they're too short to use a nail clipper in. It's a bad, it's a bad habit of mine. One of the few. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it might have, it might have just been my, it might have just been shaking leg. I know I did that a bunch. So yeah, this week's gonna be cool. Uh, today is gonna be demos. We we got into the pre-alpha of Soul Stalker. That is an auto looter shooter, so similar to Brotato or Vampire Survivors. Um, we are gonna be checking that out at 11:30 a.m. So in two hours from now, we'll be doing our sponsor segment for HelloFresh Canada, and then after that, depending on what we're where we're spending our time, um, we've got the two Steam Next Fest demos. Why am I? Having one of those days, are we? Extra light. All right, it's gonna be one of those days we're gonna be phasing out of existence. I can't get the lighting perfect. I'll do my best. But yeah, so we have that going on today. Uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and we're gonna make a chat appreciation day. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, just doing some random things until I have to go to work. We are gonna be leading with Archipelago as well, because um, we want to get some practice in Archipelago. And stuff like that. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do for it. I call it Chat Appreciation Day, and I'm like, okay, what are we doing for it? I just think it'd be nice to have that day where people, you know, some, some people, even though it's a completely made-up day and it really does not matter whether or not you participate in it, um, some people do get sad on the day for various reasons, so let's make it a positive day for people. And then Wednesday, Wednesday chat, we're starting our Monster Sanctuary Nuzlocke, we're going to start another one. We're going to see if the Skill Tree Rando has relics in it. Um, if it doesn't, whatever, I do want to I do want to see what the relics are, but I'm pretty, we're not going to do item Rando, we're just going to do Skill Tree Rando. We're going to try and follow the rule, or the, the steps to making sure the Skill Trees are normalized. And then... Yeah. We're going to see if the relics show up in that, but I do want to do another Monster Sanctuary Rando. I did want to do Nexomon, but I thought about it, and I'm like, we could probably go back to Nexomon, but Nexomon takes longer, and I'm a, like, the way that it plays out, if streams are going to be shorter, I need something that's going to finish on time before the Rogue and Randomizer Marathon, which we will talk about as well on Wednesday. That'll be after the giant announcement, so if you're looking towards that, um, that announcement will happen Wednesday near the end of stream or so. So we'll go with that. And then Friday might be a bonus stream. Just because. Um, I do feel bad that stream is going to be a little shorter. So I'm trying to make up with it with more time. But also, I do want to get some extra advertising in before charity begins. Come on, let me post hashtag validate me daddy. Damn it. Come on. Why are you like this? It's part of the TikTok. Don't worry about it. Go watch it on YouTube. Or if you were here during the, uh, during the Quirk Lock, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Error? What? 
Is every site just going down? Are we getting hit again? Oh, shit. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. Everything's breaking. All right. Let's get these going. So the first game we're going to be playing, I will warn you guys once again, it's a brand new game. I haven't opened it, so the audio might be a bit off. I'm going to try and save you from ear-shattering adventures. Um... The first game is called Stories from the Outbreak. I will warn people as well. Uh, it has been said to have some graphical or have some have some graphic violence stuff in it. It is a post-apocalyptic turn-based strategy game. It looks interesting. Stories from the Outbreak. There we go. It looks interesting. Uh, if you do, if you're not a fan of blood and gore, you've been warned. Uh, if you are, stay around. I don't know how long we're going to be playing it for, but yeah. It, it depends on how long a run goes. Like, I really wanted to play more Dungeon Drafters. We'll do that after the Steam Next Fest. Uh, just because I want to try these other things out and go from there. Do I hear it? Alright. Also, you can hear my voice is still not doing well. I'm doing my best. It just won't get better because the, the house is super dry. Oh, we even got... Oh, we even got the song. Out in the bio where the zombies started. They be walking and they're dead. Brother. Anyways. Uh, I think we're playing the demo. The game is still being worked on. We feel confident presenting what we have. Escape from the zombie-ridden capital of Latvia. Oh, Latvia. Cool. See how many people can make it out alive. The main systems of our game, roguelike structure, are in place. If you have any feedback to share, you're very welcome to the Steam forums. Glad me the rest of the Cold Wild Games team. Cool. The main systems of the game and the roguelike structure progression. Cool. Options. Display. No music. Yes. Never, never VSync. Okay, watch your ears. Here we go. Wait, UI? Fuck. Ah! Ah, that doesn't fix. Got it. How is that? How is the audio volume, guys? How is the audio volume, you know? Where I said 10.30 p.m. at night. How is that? Cursor mode? I don't know what that means. All right. Oh, can I? Oh, I can play this on. Currently not implemented. Alternative keyboards are not shown. Got it. All right. Let's do it. All I know is from the screenshots that we're doing kind of like Darkest Dungeon stuff. So... We have food. We have lore. Anna leaves the house towards evacuation to ferry. Okay. What's this? This is Anna. She's violent, pragmatic, and hopeful. I know what those words mean. Uh, okay, so she's got a lot of agility. It lowers ability cooldown, determines a turn order. Ability cooldown, too. Interesting. Increase the max character health by 10. Okay. Helps succeed in many non-combat situations. So she's not very smart, but she's very violent. Most melee abilities. 
most range abilities. Each point gives five protection at the start of combat. Interesting. Okay. And that's mana, looks like. Oh, that's protection. Never mind. All right, what's your abilities? Bat Bash? She has a baseball bat? I got Harley Quinn. Hell yeah. Okay. 12 damage. Delay until next turn. And a focus? That looks like you could target. Okay, so there's going to be grid-based targeting. From what I could see. It's very powerful, but very slow. When would this be, I guess, if I want to get a finisher on it? Because this is 24 at 20 delay out of 40 delay versus 24 to 48 delay. I guess because the delay, like technically because you'd be delayed, then you move on the, I guess it's going to be one of those progress bars. So, I guess, hemorrhage. Six damage, apply two bleed. Don't know what bleed does, but cool. Rolls, party. Okay, we can move her around, idle. Okay, so we're going to have more teammates. Fascinating. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got. First blood. As Anna exits her par apartment, she feels nothing but the stench of a new death and the weight of her weapon, and momentarily she doubts the sanity of her own actions. But these thoughts are interrupted by a distant growl, turning hesitation to adrenaline and energy. A zombie appears in sight, unaware that it's about to become a slightly scared survivor's first kill. Engage. Get a mana. This is the combat screen during your turn. Select ability at the bottom of the screen. Weak Frantic. Rapidly attacking zombie builds up focus very quickly. How much health do you have? 30? So I'll show you how far down it'll put you. Boom! Damage. All right, this is the timeline. It shows the order of future turns to how much time is left until then. Each ability takes a different amount of time that you have to wait after using the ability. Let's select the ability. You can see how much delay it will cause. Choosing a powerful, slow ability may give your enemy time to do multiple moves for your next turn. So why didn't he attack is my question. Oh, he's got to build it up. Oh, I see. So if I use this, I need to focus. Oh, so you delay. Oh. So does his attack need two focus? So I'd have to wait a little bit and use this again? No. Oh, I see. I, I built up focus. Never mind. It gives me focus. That's weird. There's a price for entering the ferry. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Still dangerous. Nope. What else? So what does bleed do? Every 10 ticks, take the damage you get to bleed out and lower bleed by one. Okay. Every 10 ticks? Oh, every 10 ticks. Oh, cool. So the longer they take to attack, the more damage they're going to take. Makes sense. I've been hit. Oh, but I got blocked. That's why. That's fine. Okay. Boom. Okay, makes sense. I don't know what the focus is for, but... Like, it doesn't explain that. Explain that. Aftermath. Dead bodies of those foes are a reminder that the team may yet find a way to survive in the dying city. New ability unlocked. Oh! Oh, what? Unhinged intimidation. Target self. Add plus six and next use of carnage. Or its upgraded versions. Oh. Okay. Sure. Expects me to survive her. I got Janice. Familiar face makes eye contact with Anna, perhaps a neighbor or someone seen a few times passing by. The man is sitting on a bench, a rusty axe beside him, an emotionless zombie bleeding on the ground right next to him. He looks shaken. Maybe, like Anna, he killed for the first time today. But she was fine with it. Anna was like, yeah, what a blop. <laughs> was that make a bleed? Yeah. 
Noticing her bat, he stands up and greets her. I greet you. Soon turning out to be another soul, hoping to find enough fuel to make it on the ferry to Lipaya. Lipaya? I don't... Anyone from Lafayette here? Maybe can pronounce that? Together they'll have a much better chance of surviving out there. Sure they will. We don't have any fuel, though, so I can't make it to the ferry. Interesting. Alright, uh... Boosted by six? So I can actually one-shot this guy. So I'm gonna do that. Unhinged Intimidation. She moves again? Holy crap, dude. Boom! What do you do? Four damage and inflict one poison to a row. Damage not scale with focus. What the fuck does focus do? Maybe it gives us more damage? I don't know. Temp protection to an ally. Wild shout becomes the target for all enemy attacks against my Oh, he's a tank. Okay. With a rust. That doesn't look like a rusted axe. That looks like a very clean axe that he took good care of. What is poison every 10 ticks take? Okay, so it doesn't wear off. Understood. Ouch! My brother. Um, he's going to attack us. Add target protection. You tried. Actually, if I had just attacked him more than once, it would have been fine. Uh, if I hemorrhage, yeah, if I hemorrhage, now he should take a bunch of damage here and just kind of bleed out. Because now I can just go, you carnage! Oh, okay, so gaining max focus does something for you. I guess we'll figure that out. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, so this... Fuel does not know what the location contains. Expects to find food. So food is consumed when you go to safe houses. Which I... I'm assuming are... The, yep, safe house. Expects to find food here. Interesting. Oh, crap. Alright, so we need fuel? Trading with other survivors and survivors and the price for entering the ferry. So like can I go any that makes me think, do I need to go a certain way to gain fuel? How much fuel do I need? Because that's not very clear yet. A very powerful threat here. Well, let's I don't know, let's let's go kind of like a... Let's get some fights under our belts. Maybe we go like this way. Let's go. I like a mystery. Most of the military was decimated when they attempted to stop the large wave sweeping across the city. But few soldiers remain here still, leading small civilian operations. It's unclear whether they follow any higher command. They're considered highly unpredictable and better avoided. It's little wonder, then, that the team feels rather scared when a lone soldier, dressed in uniform and fully armed, quickly approaches them. Their worries are turned to confusion when the soldier explains why he's here. Hey, you need fuel, don't you? This is your lucky day. My employers will give you more fuel than you've ever seen. Just follow me, I'll take it to him. Follow him. I trust him. The man leads him towards the seemingly empty building. A set of stairs enters the basement directly from the exterior. He approaches the basement door, shouts a few ille Ill illegible words. Illegible? Okay. And the door opens. Yeah, I guess that is the word you use. I don't know. Leading him to end the hesitant team in. After walking through dimly lit corridors for a little while, they are greeted by a most unusual sight. A metal door leads them into a large room with a series of lofts hanging over what appears to be some kind of makeshift arena. Two dozen guards, some of which have military uniforms, distrustfully watch over a couple of cages, each filled with the undead. The sound of zombies ripping apart a human in the arena is almost drowned out by the shouts and laughter of men in suits who overlook the scene gleefully. I just left my house. This is brutal. They have made their own paradise here, surrounded by servants, prostitutes, and blood. What the fuck? Oh, military, you have nothing better to do because there's no one left to protect. So they set up a Roman Colosseum, of course. That's my first thought. The world's fucked. Let's get hookers. <laughs> Alright. Murder and hookers. Perfect. 
One of the guards approaches the team and speaks. You're going to be fighting these zombies. If you win, we'll give you some fuel. Agree. The men in suits cheer as the team enter the arena. Weapons raised and ready. A cage is opened, and these mindless monsters shamble towards their prey. If this is what it takes, engage. <laughs> no, not the dog. I don't want to kill a zombie dog. Oh, that raises... Okay, we got to kill that. Cool. So you go first. I'm going to unhinged intimidate you. I'm being targeted. Okay, so you can just one-shot this dog. Sorry. We'll rust a blade him. Boom. That's a lot of damage you're doing. So they do scale up. Oh, this is infected. That's why. Um... Just gonna give her a little bit of protection here. Ow, son of a bitch. So I think I'm gonna bleed him now or blade him. Give him the poison. Uh I kinda wanna hemorrhage. I think hemorrhaging is just like dot feels very nice right now. I also don't gain any focus. I'm not gaining well, I actually get getting close to gaining focus. Focus might actually be better here. Let's see what it does. Anna is focused. Oh, that's cool. Choose a buff for the remainder of the battle. Oh, that's a neat con that's a neat concept. You have plus five HP now, and it's random too. Ooh. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Bloodshed deals extra strength damage to bleeding enemies. Enemies lose three strength for ten ticks after getting hit by this character. I don't think I have bleed in time. Let's just go. Oh, five. Whatever this fills up. I don't know about that. That's gonna take a lot. Let's go debilitate. <gasps> You've been damaged! No! Damn it! I was doing so well! Mo oh, thanks for telling me now. Most decks give your attack character's focus. Adds plus one to all damage you deal. Oh, so it does actually add more damage. Focus fills up the orange segment. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. So that does... That adds it up before or when I have it? Each focus adds a flat plus one to all damage you deal. No, so when I have it, it'll deal more. Additionally, focus fills up the orange segment. A bar, whenever you fill it up, you get a buff of where for enemies get focus as well. That is a very fascinating concept. I like that. I think we're just gonna go for the. I, oh man, no! I gotta, I gotta protect. She's gonna kill. I just gotta protect her until she gets there. I just want to see what happens when you focus. He's focused now too. Team gains plus four protection now, and whenever the focus bar fills up, plus three protection when taking damage for each enemy targeting this character. Protect teammates. Atta boy. Protect them teammates. Ah. He bit me. God damn it. That's so much damage. That's actually a ton of... Wait, what happened to all your armor? Didn't you have like 14 on you? When the team first entered the room, the men on the lofts didn't even care. Their alcohol conversations and women took up all their focus. But now all eyes are on the scene of the arena. They cheer and laugh and throw money at the team. Meaningless, usable, unusable money. But some people can never handle the sorrow of parting with the gifts of Mammon. Acquired before the outbreak. Mammon? Seems like your beasts, you, they, they like this. You'll get your fuel. But if you wish, you can stay and fight a tougher horde for plenty more fuel. This could be dangerous. Let's do it. The team braces for another battle and a goon carefully opens the locks on a few more cages. A slightly more powerful horde of zombies enters the arena. We'll never know unless we try on our second and cow. Oh, Christ almighty. Well, a zombie that hunts by inflicting a lot of poison. Heals most of his health upon filling up the focus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so. We're gonna take some... That guy's fast. He has no strength, though. He's just all about poisoning and being tough. Let's just try and kill off as many of these guys as possible first, I think. We're gonna take some damage. So how does this hits the row? Okay, so we'll hit both of my yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch! Okay, never mind. He's really slow. I guess he was. Oh, he's preparing his attack now. I guess that means I'm taken targeted by an enemy, targeted by the enemy. By which enemy could you show? Oh, it does show me. Okay. You're targeting both. Oh, you're targeting your target. Okay. So we want to kill the one that's... So this is the one that's threatening. So I want to go like this. Boop. 
Now, it's going to delay me a lot, but I'm close to my focus, which we're going to need. We're going to need armor soon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Um... Temp protection. Oh, I'm bleeding. What the shit? Crap. Okay. All right. Oh, he moved up. Interest. Does that move him when he uses that? I wonder. I wonder. So this should be doing six damage now. No, that didn't add damage. Why didn't that add damage? The frantic is focused. Great. Oh, I could kill him. He's also burning? Oh, he's raged. Oh, Christ. No, you're not. Bye. That did more damage. What the hell? Okay. Okay, so you do just get whatever here. Um. He's lose three strength after getting hit by this character. I don't know. I don't think the three strengths get up. I'm going to go for the push through. I don't know if I'm ever going to get back up to this focus bar, but we can try. We need to we need to bleed this guy out ASAP. We're going to be eating a little bit of shit to make this happen. Dennis. The mutinous folk got damn it he healed. That's a that's an annoying monster. Holy shit. That sucks. He stalls like that, and he's just like that too. Cool. That should be eight damage. It's still only four damage. Focus is supposed to increase his damage, but I don't know. Yeah, that's that is very obnoxious. Holy crap. I think I'm just gonna have to go all in on him here. Hemorrhage him, perhaps. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of health here. Holy Christ. Uh, I'll just go for the kill. And I should heal. Oh, no, because I didn't gain... Ah, I didn't gain focus. That's my bad. That's okay. As the last of the undead falls limp on the floor, the room once again fills with cheers. It's a wonder the laughter and shouts don't attract a horde outside. The rich men seem to have taken a liking to the team, and soon their shouts join to a single chant. Blood, blood, blood. Sports. Uh, the guards prepare to open the locks on their final cages, which host a particularly scary-looking group of zombies. The guard who spoke to the team earlier approaches with more fuel and mentions, You could leave now, but if you beat the strongest zombies we could round up, you'll get the prize at your dreams. I'm going to take my three fuel and leave. I'm, I'm tired of this. <coughs> their team knows the risk involved in fighting these beasts. They gladly take their current winnings and head towards the exit, accompanied by the cheers of the stage coven. Strange coven. Done. Thanks. I think that's more than enough, probably. I don't know. We'll see. I just wanted to move on. I don't th I don't think that's a smart thing to take on it. Oh, Christ. Well, he's back. All right, so we've learned what to do against you, kind of. Hemorrhage. Eh. Dot City. Population U. I like this music. It's good. Is that one single attack? That was single attack. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna guard him up, I think. <coughs> just so he can survive the poison. That's pretty neat. This is a pretty neat game. I like the focus. I like the focus mechanic. The dead bodies of these foes are a reminder that the team may yet find a way to survive in the dying city. Safety goggles. I don't know what that is. Lol. Bloody triumph. Dude, Anna's fucking raw. She's just she's just ready to murder. Do I have to choose these eventually? Deal 20 to 30 damage. If target dies from this attack, lower cooldown by 30 ticks. Oh, it's random damage. So unhinged only... Works with Carnage. That's interesting. Bloody Triumph. So you got you got to use this well. 
It also looks like eventually some of these won't be able to target certain places. That's neat. So do I want you in the... I'm assuming if they go in the back, maybe they'll deal less damage. Like they need to have a ranged attack. No matter what, I get a new survivor. That's kind of cool. Find medicine here. Wow. The team needs a new survivor. It's Bob. Oh, thanks. I w D Dizentars? Dizentars. That's a ton of intellect. This guy's smart. He's just not very strong. Very not strong. Oh, my lord. Oh, he's a ranged guy. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pragmatic, depressed, empathetic, and peaceful. Can anyone relate in chat? What are your abilities? Oh, you're a healer. Hell yeah. Two damage and apply four bleed. Oh, we got synergy already. Remedy, feel five health and remove four bleed from an ally. Inflict vulnerable target gains plus one bleed whenever attacked. Oh! Oh, that's a new way of doing vulnerable. I like that. So you in the back... I'm just curious if I do like this. Okay, it doesn't show any changes. Cool. Um, maybe I want to go the way of rations. I might want to go the way of rat, like fuel, like this way maybe. Maybe. This could be interesting to go to. Just kind of want more ration. I don't know what I'm gonna need for this, so. This is neat. I like this. What do you guys think? Is that a bone kid? Well, instead of him being frantic, he's a frenetic. Oh, you guys can't see the health bars. My apologies. Um, let's put... There we go. No, you can't. Uh, hmm. Where do I go? Here and I shrink. Where do I go? Wait. <laughs> A lot of screen if it's... There we go. I'm tiny now. How's that? Does that work? Am I too small? Maybe I can go up here. HelloFresh can uh, join me right there. Boom. That'll work. Okay. Uh, yeah, old man, not very fast. And tars. Can also effectively bleed people. My favorite. Frenetic. Jesus. Inflicts a lot of bleed. Right in time. Alright, well. No! I mean, I have to, right? Save this for now. Let's get him down to one and then go from there. Incision. Nice AoE. Love it. Love it. Loving it. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. cuckoo. Uh, I want him dead. He lacerated the flesh. Careful now. How dare they. How convenient that removes exactly four bleed. <laughs> Stop it. God damn you. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna poison him here. We gotta get the poison stacking. So this is, I guess, just 
You're not at your max yet, but we can work on that. I'm gonna give him a weak spot, I think. Allies gain one focus. Oh my god, that gives me two more right here. That'd be nice. Party heals one every 30 ticks. That would be nice too. Now converts all excess healing into protection. We don't have that kind of skill, those types of skills yet. I think I'm gonna do this. Resist down. Oh, resist doom. <clears throat> So this will give three bleed. Yeah, I have blood shred. Son of a bitch. Just gonna try and keep her even though he's pretty low just gonna keep gaining the armor here oh should tell me how much I'm actually doing carnage the question is did I prevent damage what happens when he's okay I didn't get any healing off, but I didn't take any damage, so bonus. I got like one health on everything. The dead bodies of these foes are a reminder that the team may yet find a way to survive. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, so one inspiration point for Anna. Well, here's the thing. I really feel like... I don't have any ranged abilities. I feel like I want to give you more speed. Your damage is in a good spot right now. Just want you to attack more often. So let's do this. New ability we've unlocked. Reciprocation. A damage to any minion who melee attacks Janus in the next 40 ticks. Okay. That's not even half bad delay. You get 16. It's only a 16 delay. But it lasts for 40. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think I need healing yet. I'm gonna take the fuel. The outbreak has brought in more than just zombies to plague the world. As government and the military forces realize they're up against an unstoppable enemy, they begin paying less and less attention to keep the peace within. As such, the collapse of society has secured the opportunity for some to indulge in dark forbidden desires. Actions that used to be considered crimes are word now utterly meaningless. Considering this, it's not particularly a unique sight to witness murders, lynchings, and survivor on survivor. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, the team finds an aftermath of something alike. A man lying against a wall, bleeding to death from what appears to be a gunshot wound in his abdomen. When I say graphic, this is very graphic. Jeepers. Uh... He slowly and faintly moves his head to look at the team. Next to him are a few small cans of fuel. Free for the taking. Done. Oh, no. As the team takes his fuel, the man makes some faint gargling sounds. A bit of blood drips out of his mouth. He seems to be trying to get the team's attention, but he's too close to death to talk. Int 20. Sure. Sure. The team tries to establish that they are friendly and can be trusted. The man very slowly raises his hand and points towards a water bottle strapped on the backpack of his teammate. The team spares him a bit of water, which seems to bring him great relief. They asked who shot this man. He moved his bloodied hand across the asphalt and slowly writes UFP with his fingers. Another victim of the unity for peace. At least they didn't even bother taking his fuel. Oh. Do I put him out of his misery, chat? Do you think people will, like, see me doing it and then consider me an enemy? Or that get the attention of, maybe it'll get the, uh... It might get the attention of zombies. 
even so, technically, I don't have a gun. I don't think it would actually get the attention. I'm gonna put him out of misery. It's better this way. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, it just makes me feel bad. Cool, thanks. Thanks, awesome, love it, thanks. Uh, okay. So this tells me the entire story of what's happening. I was wondering where the goggles went. It's it's like relics. Cool. Ooh, that's some chunky boys. He defends his allies. My God! All right. He's fast too. He's just stronger in every way. All righty. Uh, well, first things first, let us... Get some hemorrhage on this guy. So what are you doing? You're shielding. I'm gonna hemorrhage him again. We're gonna try and stack some hemorrhage. She's not gaining any focus, but I think that's okay. You're being attacked. That's also okay. What does this actually do? Units behind this unit gains the guarded effect status, which means, I guess, it blocks. Yeah, I think we're going to get uh, preparing other action. Preparing this action I think we're just going to try and get as much bleed on this guy as possible. That's fine, because that's going to that's gonna wear down his shield real quick. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's start working him, I guess. Working this guy, I suppose. This guy's gonna work himself. Well, I feel like we should accelerate that process, right? I have a feeling he's gonna start hurting me, though, once I get rid of his bud. How much does that do? That was so much damage. I can't protect that much. stays on him which is interesting yeah that ball works quite annoying you're not wrong oh my god he's so fast why is the tank so quick? That's so not how things work. <laughs> Unless you're in Pokemon Unite, that's the only time when tanks are faster. And guess what? Not good game design. <laughs> I'm not saying this isn't, I'm just saying. Do not use Pokemon Unite as a way to identify what is good game design. You won't be happy with yourself. Lead. Okay, we're actually getting through him now. That's good. He's once again bulwarking. I feel like if we could just stack on this guy, we'll be okay. But I think you're about to get destroyed a little bit. I'm gonna bulwark this. Um, once again, just gain four armor on everybody. I don't see why not, right? Bouncer is focused. What did that do? What did that do? Focus buff, strength, and agility is faster. Uh, I think we're gonna go all in here. Just try and get him out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I gotta. Like, I, I gotta. Uh, to bleeding enemies, that makes a lot of sense. I think we're also gonna make him lose... Maybe we make him lose... Make him lose some strength. I don't think we do extra. We just need to stop this guy. I'm gonna debilitate. She's not attacking anytime soon, but that's okay. He's gonna die. 
I'm gonna weak spots this guy. What are your focuses again? Right, gain a focus, that doesn't really matter. Heal. Yeah, we'll do the heal again. Sorry, resist doom. <laughs> are you attacking now? You definitely are. Oh, you're both, oh boy, you're both attacking, huh? Saucy. He'll bleed out. That was 28 damage! What? Dude, no way. Ow. I took too long, I guess? All right, he loses some strength. Good lord! What am I supposed to do? I don't have enough damage to take that guy down. Is he attacking it? He is attacking again. Does that get up in time? It doesn't? I think we just go for the kill on him. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely just go for the kill on him. I want to use Bloody Triumph just to see what it looks like. We have the kill with the Doctor, anyways, I think, right? Yeah, he's got 10 ticks left on him. Probably. I don't know. Let's not risk it. Nah, screw it. Risk it. Got him. We had enough focus. The minimum on that was actually 17. Inspiration point for Janus. Uh, huh, that's a great question. Strength, damage most melee abilities. I don't know what you actually need. I think I just need you to be faster. Like, agility seems very important in this game. Very important. I don't see what that actually did to anything, but... New ability, phlebotomy. Eternal allies poison into bleed. I can understand the point in that, because then it becomes temporary dot, and then he can remove it. That's fascinating. Okay. That seems pretty slow, though. Take 17, then you can heal it. I guess that's fair. Okay. Oh, we keep, oh I see. The map keeps building. Eleven food? How was I supposed to get eleven food? The team is relieved to hear lively conversations of other humans in this direction. And when they arrive at the source, they are greeted by a site that is both one of the pillars still holding society together and a testament to the fact that the reanimated corpse of the economy has not yet given up on its eternal task to make everyone miserably transactional. A medium crowd of people surrounds the Maximum store, with the group of army men protecting sto the store being the closest thing to security one can find now. The team goes inside, and although the significantly better armed soldiers stare at the team's weapons distressfully, they must be used to such sights. Must be used to such sights. However, their angry expressions make it clear. There is no chance of looting the place. Survival is a commodity. If you seek it, pay up. The team can exchange resources here. I can trade a... Oh, I see. I can buy a fuel instead. I, I, I don't know. I guess I'll buy a food. I'll buy four food. Sure. Steve exchanges resources with the workers and moves on. The interaction is deeply impersonal and distrustful. And they like the word distrustful. An unfortunate side effect of running an establishment like this while the institutions holding society together are falling apart one by one. The government and remnants of corporations may afford the resources for trade, but they cannot afford to be friendly, opting instead to make exchanges quick and serious, and immediately getting rid of anyone who shows the slightest sign of bringing the new death to this remnant of society as it was. Ayo, your team has arrived in an empty but seemingly secure and hidden location. You may rest here and prepare for the next day. Rest. Oh my god! Whoa, that's... that's cruel. After a long day, a desperate hunger invites the to prepare me. That seems... I don't know if I like that. Whenever they have a hunger mechanic... 
I get it, but... Like, I don't mind the punishment for you not having the food. But, like... I don't like a... You're just barely making by... I don't know. Maybe, it maybe the game is balanced around that. But, usually with this type of stuff... I don't want to say it was an issue that I had with FTL because FTL is an action is, is like a spectacular game and it's built around it. But like the concept of fuel, you always got fuel, so you never had to worry about diving, or you could be smart enough when you're diving and just look for events that could give you more fuel. Like this, I have to choose to go get more food if I want to heal, which means I also have to stop taking damage. But the enemies are scaling up so much, I can't help that I'm taking damage. So it kind of feels strange. I need to like specifically play just to survive like this. But then that could skew the way that I move. Unless eventually I can build better combos that just helps me take a lot less damage. I don't have the moves for that right now. Maybe I just need to play more aggressively. Either way, I'm going to heal 40%. Because I can. And I'm going against a boss, I assume. The old man smiles mysteriously as he makes his way towards the team. The Hound Walker. And the Hounds, not immune to the unfortunate effects of the new death, follow loyally by his side. A strange humanity can still be seen in his infected eyes. Somehow even more haunting than the lifelessness that the virus instills in others. It's a dangerous humanity, reflecting a mindful cruelty that the other zombies, too primitive and beastly, would not be capable of. The growls of the hounds by his side indicate that they won't be they won't allow you to flee. There's one way to settle this. Face the man who has befriended death. Engage. Oh, hello. What is this? Unable to be targeted by melee attacks. Guarded. Oh, interesting. He's guarding his friend. Rapidly boost the focus of its allies. Builds a focus very quickly and summons hounds upon filling his focus bar. Great. Great. Good. Uh huh. Hold on. Let's do something. Interesting. Ag agility had different effects on these attacks. This had a 7% decrease. This only had a 3% decrease. Let's try to see if there was a set number with agility to, to, like, optimize that, right? With this, you want to optimize with these types of bars. I'm assuming that just means wait. I don't want to click this button on the off chance I missed my turn. It doesn't explain what it is. Um, okay, well... This guy seems like a problem. I guess the best thing we could do here is just kind of like bleed this guy out, right? So we're just like, we'll start building our focus. We won't we'll go for the kill. He's buffing. Who's attacking? Both of you are attacking him. Really? Wait, no, you're attacking. Well, you're both attacking. Fascinating. Do you care to be reciprocated on? I could do that. I'm not going to get the armor in time, but I'm going to reciprocate, I think. Hit me! I dare you! Actually, if I if I hit you with the Bat Bash, you'll die to the reciprocation. That's something. And then you can actually... I'm going to weak spots this guy. Let's do it. Ha! <laughs> Season attack. Get slashed, dude. Yo, he got two. Oh, my God. This guy didn't attack me. Wait, what? Oh, he's guarding? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong hound. I, I read that wrong. Oh, they're both attacking him, huh? No, 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 no. You guys... You guys attack good old Janice. That's not good. They're focusing? This is bad. Oh my god, they're gonna get really out of control. This guy's gonna be a problem too. Uh blah, 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 blah. let's Let's work him. Are 
You're gonna have to, I think. Seasoned hook. Yeah, that's fine. Is this guarding? It's still guarded, huh? Wait, you just get to attack immediately? Come on! Nah! Ugh, I hate those types of I hate those types of mechanics. I get it. Again, like I don't know how, how much the game scales, but it just always feels bad when suddenly something comes out like, oh! You just take damage because of agility. Right? Even though his agility's not that high. Um, I'm actually gonna beat this guy a bunch. He's actually—he's going down really quickly. I'm gonna—I'm gonna pummel the hell. I think I'm actually gonna go after the Hell Master here, just to get this going, and then to bleeding enemies. I think you're gonna be the one that kills the boss. Oh my god! Oh my Christ! Is that a control? That's so much buffing! Who's attacking you? Okay, how master and thing. I can shout at them. And then have enough time to reciprocate. Actually, I think that is how that works. And gains five protection. I'm gonna do that. You like him now. I don't like what's happening with you now. Oh my god, he's focused again. Oh, he got to move first. That sucks. That really sucks. I'm gonna reciprocate, and then I'm gonna, yeah, just go all it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. That doesn't matter, he can't summon anymore. Now what I can do is kill him off with Carnage, and then just deal with the Hounds. Or, no, that seems like a weird flex. I don't need to do that. That's that's another thing, too. That seems like a weird range flex. I don't need to do that when this can kill. So he's down. Now the... Dogs just murder me. Okay, so they do move up when things move out. Understood. Uh, who's being attacked? Who's attacking me? This guy? I'm just gonna do that. He's focused. Yeah. I'm pretty gain a focus real quick. That didn't focus him? What? Oh my god, he has to make a move to focus. Ah, uh, oh, he focuses after the fact? Yeesh. It's because he attacked. Ugh, okay. Alright, that's fair. Everybody does that. Everybody gain armor right now. It just seems like the best option, honestly. Uh, this should be doing 8 damage. Oh, damage to the scale of focus. I just noticed that. But his reciprocation scale. Okay. Well, I got I don't know what happens. I'm assuming death is permanent, so I need to protect somebody here. Who's getting attacked? Your bull. Oh my god. Oh, actually, he would have died if I attacked him. That's my bad. I let him die. Maybe not. Chad? Chad Chaddington? He's gonna die. He's so dead. Rip. I should have attacked. That's my bad. Um... Give a parting heal to him! No! Okay, 14 focus dog, yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay. My goodness. Just in case. Who are you attacking? He's buffing. He's buffing. Okay. Actually. Cutting this fiend down feels like a genuine act of heroism. The team has banished something above the simple. 
unthinkable bloodthirst of the other infected. It's unclear whether the haunting smile of this hound walker reflected unyielding wisdom, or perhaps it was a sign of pure evil. Almost as if other scavengers have been too scared to approach this creature, the team has an easy time finding fuel. New ability unlocked, but rip, rip our, our healer. Okay, Carnage up. Oh, okay. 12 damage to a row. 18 damage deal, dumb damage to who are full health. Can I just keep Carnage? Do I have to choose? This seems better, right? Like I lose damage. Unless I, I have to, I have to lead with this move or settle with hitting two people but for less. I guess mayhem. I don't think I'm gonna lead day aside. That will get buffed by unhinged intimidation, I guess. I guess. Biker's gloves. Every fifth turn your team makes gives five protection to whoever makes that turn. Sure it does. This guy's almost dead. You okay over there, Janus? No? Yeah, I don't I don't blame you. We got a little wrecked. Meets a new survivor. What does she do? Inis. Pragmatic, peaceful, and depressed. Great. No armor whatsoever. Ooh, no. Deal five damage and plus one damage for four ticks until the next target turn. Wait. Deal five damage and plus one damage for every ticks. Every four ticks. Oh, so she keeps attacking. That's cool. I guess. That's how I read that. All units, player, and enemy whose turn, who's with turns in the next 12 ticks gains 8 protection. That is interesting. That is very interesting. I don't know if I, that, that'd be hard to time out. Reverse the order of all turns and actions on the, excuse me? Reverse the order of all turns and actions on the timeline. Okay. Oh, guys, it's a full freaking game. Okay. I need to heal. That's the problem is I'm, I'm dying. There's so many fights over here, but I need, I need food, right? No, I don't. I don't need food. There's no, there's no safe houses. This is kind of unlucky. So I need, I need a way with a healer. More powerful threats. Oh, I gotta post this because <laughs> unfortunately Nightbot looks for messages to post the HelloFresh thing, so I'm not calling anybody out, obviously. But I have to I have to make sure that it is posted every 30 minutes. It's a Final Fantasy Tactics remake. Cool. Which is cool. Save Arcadia. Neat. Um, I guess expect to find medicine. And then do a bunch of fights? I guess? Like, where do I go from here? I feel very helpless. I don't I don't quite know. I could go take two more powerful fights, but I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna I need to heal Janice.
Oh, I see. It tells you how well they'll do. Their flashlights shine upon the plastic of various machines connected to each other by wires. The light meets dust upon various flasks and bottles of unknown liquids and barely legible scrawlings presumably describing chemical reactions. Spaceship Pharmaceutical Laboratory must have brought its owners great fortune, at least, before it was mostly destroyed. Creating such supplies after regular pharmacies were looted would surely be a profitable business. However, all that remains of the medicine now are a few leftover boxes of supplies and product, left untouched by the miscreants who took everything else, most likely due to the ambiguous nature of what these unmarked bottles contain. Perhaps they're painkiller or other valuable medicines here, but it would take a bit of knowledge to tell. The team can choose someone to find and test medicine, potentially healing everyone. Janice! A short while passes, the team members who took the medicine feel no effects. Perhaps there's no sense in expecting anything else. The team decides they won't find anything of importance here. Damn it! I'm not smart enough to know. You fools! Now Janice dies! You're so strong! An average zombie, not particularly interesting, but still dangerous. Oh, so you're just a different... You're a female infected. Cool. Alright, well. This is gonna suck. Um... We don't know what they're doing yet, so let's just be unhinged. So, we have... Oh my god, he's so dead. So don't flip it. That would be bad. Um, guys, I just got a text. Hi, Mom. I'm so angry. I dropped my phone down the toilet and broke it. What's at me on blank? I have no credit to text you. But they texted me on my phone. So a person who dropped their phone down the toilet is texting through their phone to say, text me on WhatsApp. Remember when scams were smart? Remember when scammers could actually fool us? All units in the next 12 ticks. Yeah, this would actually be the time to do this, right? This would be the time to do advantageous timing 100%. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Aha. Reciprocation. Who's actually attacking you? The big guy. Great. You're f so fucking dead. All right, bleed him. Let's go. We gotta. We gotta make damage here. How you doing, girl? <laughs> yeah, I know. Brilliant, one would say. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so dead. She has a katana. That's cool. Maybe I just unhinged. Yeah, I think I just unhinged intimidation nonstop here. She's gaining no focus, but does it matter? I'm gonna do it. Damage. Mm. Oh, it's my foe. He's so dead. You're gonna live. I got you. Anyone attacking you? Oh, you're getting attacked by bounce. Oh my god, he's so. D Guys, I don't know how you're supposed to keep people alive in this game. <laughs> These, they're just like you can't kill them fast enough. I can't shield them up enough. I don't know how the leveling works either. It's a bit. I'm not quite understanding how I've messed this up. Let's put it that way. Like, you're dead. I, I can't protect- Wait, you were- Oh, you were attacking him too? Christ. I looked at the wrong attack- Wait, what are you attacking then? What? I- I read this as he was attacking me. Why did you attack- Alright. My bad, I guess? Uh, you're gonna die from poison eventually, but you're gonna attack first, so I need you to- That's not what the attack said it would do. Plus one damage for every four ticks. For every four ticks. Oh, since her last attack, maybe? I'm not sure. No. Okay, so he missed. I understand now.
Nope, that'll shield all of us. I don't get how that damage is going up. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, attacks and bleed plus two bleed against enemies who have their less strength than this character. Fascinating. Attacks will deal two times skilled against enemies with protection. Yep, heal now. I can go for the big I can go for the big slap. Big slap! Got him. Just try and prevent her from dying. Oh, you're focused now. But you gain the armor. Hell yeah. Uh advantageous time. That takes so long. Just for eight armor on everybody? It doesn't even like eight armor doesn't even matter in this game at this point. Like everything does twenty damage. I don't get it. Chat, what did I do wrong? Bat bash? Strength's down. Good job, armor. The armor was important. We're just gonna outmaneuver again because I need to. And then I'm going to hemorrhage her. There we go. Oh, it wasn't enough bleed. It's okay. See, lice. It's up to the women of this team to carry us now, as everybody else has died. Distraction. Delayed target by 20 ticks, but the target gains plus 2 strength, skill, and agility. That sounds awful. That actually sounds terrible. Like, that is a, you use that once, and that's when you're going to win the game. I don't see any other time you would use that. I don't have any smart people. I need, I need my dead doctor. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I guess the run ends. <laughs> I guess we're just, I guess we're just done here. It makes sense losing characters to make you fall behind. I just, I, I haven't played this enough to understand how I lost this. Double buff, huh? I still don't get how this attack works. Will that just store when I want to use it? I guess it will. So if I do like this... Yeah, I do keep it. Okay. The other thing is, what does the positioning matter for me? Because I thought these guys would be like blocking for people in the back, and I guess that's not how that works. These guys get to abuse the guarding thing. They're all buffing. They're all just gonna outrun me and kill me. They're so fast and so gross. I don't know, like... This runs over, but, you know, we tried. Kill. Actually does not kill. Well, that's annoying. Like, I have to attack him. 
Because he's in the way. And then you gain fucking 20 armor. Okay. It's a neat game. I like I like the concept of it. I I like I've only played one match, but this I don't really feel like I want to do it again. I, I felt helpless. Once you lose a character, it's kind of hopeless. And it doesn't excite me to try and do better strategy because these guys just they scale without me scaling a similar way. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel like I got stronger than they did. Or got stronger along the side of them. The guarding mechanic. I don't know if I'm just really lucky that I'm getting a bunch of bouncers. But... Unless I can move. Like, let me try and click this one button I haven't clicked yet, if it lets me. They're all just going to buff nonstop and get faster. Yeah, they're just always going to outspeed me now. Hey. Right. Well... GG. Oh, good. There are more stories to tell. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, there's unlocks for each of them. Interesting. Sure. Neat game. What happens if I start... Ah, you choose who you start with. Oh, unlock progress. Oh, so you have to use them in order to unlock them. Interesting. Uh, sure. Let's 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 do it again. Random starting characters. We'll give it another try. Now we know how the game works. We're not doing the tutorial. Janice and Anna. Gee, who saw that coming? Okay, so... Fuel is necessary. Food is necessary for healing. So we want to go the way of food. We need at least one ration to get stuff going. It's like I'm thinking this way right here. Yeah. Among all the presumably expired and usable food for us. I'll, well, I'll read this later because we do have that sponsorship coming up. And I do want to get enough time for... Well, we don't... We, it's not like we'll have, quote-unquote, more time. Unless... I, because Steam Next Fest ends at 1 o'clock, should I do the sponsorship now? It is an hour and a half into stream. Maybe I should. I didn't give him a time. I just have to do it. But to make more time so I could actually play more Steam Next Fest games, maybe I should do the sponsored uh, portion now. Let's do it at 11. Let's do it at 11. That way it ends at 11.30. I have an hour and a half to play Mob Factory. Let me go from there. Uh, Even odds. Nope, didn't get in. Great, we're screwed. All right, cool, next. <laughs> oh, we start with this guy? Even better. All right. Why am I losing health? Oh my god, I lost health because I failed to open the door. Gross. I would like this to go a little bit faster. I think I think this bar needs to move a little bit quicker. Just personally. Fine, the poison won't kill us in time. Because I have carnage! Ha da! Reciprocation. Cool. Dented flask? 
Deal extra enemy to deal extra damage to enemies equal to their focus. Don't I already do that? I guess it makes focus stronger. That's good for Anna. New survivor. Who are you? Hello, Katarina. Peaceful, depressed, and pragmatic. Same. Uh, intellect is very high, very low health. Shoot, you have a gun? Yes. Yes. All right, deal 12 damage. Enemy behind takes 50% damage. Fascinating. Inflict three bleed. Oh, you take time, though. Remove guarded effect on success. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Remove guarded effect on success. Okay. Cool. I'm sorry, 100 health, fight 2? Did I have that last time as well? Bulkier than its siblings, that's an understatement. <laughs> that's a, that is a big understatement. Right, I'm gonna do that. You get attacked by best friend? Great. Freaking wonderful. Click three bleed. In behind takes fifty percent. The bleed adds up, adds up to more. Ruthless. I guess that is pretty reckless because like it takes forever for me to be able to attack again. But also. more strength, not more agility. Oh, but you also just get up there real quick. Okay. That's 23 damage. Phase one, or fight one. So I guess you gotta be a lot more aggressive with this game. Like a lot more, cause I gotta, I gotta use focus way more. Oh, he's gotta focus twice in a row. Beauty. Take the shot. Okay, so I played that right. So we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta find a better thing. Okay, bloody triumph, food, awesome. Uh, fuel. Fight the horde. Difficult. Done. Oh, we fine. We got a shotgun. Big old shotty. Uh, we gotta kill hound first. Hound hit. Excuse me. Yep. We do this. And then you. Uh. Probably the mutant, honestly. What's everybody in chat doing? What's your week looking like? Yeah, I needed that hound dead. I was hoping he'd bleed before he did that. Yikes. But he didn't. Uh, are you gonna be low enough? You are getting hit by everybody and that's terrifying, but I can't move them all into you. What do I do against that? Jesus, man. Um.
Close to death, but he won't actually die to poison. That's the problem. He moved up. That's fine. Uh, he's not going to die in time. Who's hitting? Oh, he did die in time. Holy crap. I wish they'd show a better counter. I, can I see that? I can't really... Ca I have tried to count it out, but depending on where they start, I have to pay attention to that, I guess. That's a little hard to keep track of. Anyone attack me? Who's attacking you? Freaking mutant, man. Because he's attacking everybody. That's fair. I feel like we just kind of go all out. I just read Dented Flask on him is going to feel really good because that's not affected by focus, but it deals extra damage equal to my focus. So basically gives him focus. That's kind of nice. This could get the kill. This is doing plus six. This could miss the kill on the Frantic. If I get the kill, this is supposed to be at 15. Okay, I didn't miss the kill. Aha! Healing. Fifty percent hit chance. I don't know if I like that. Not yet. Please take enough damage before you hit us. Bleed. He didn't die. He might die still. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't matter. Fuel too. Cool. Next. Okie dokie. They have intended to buff. Oh boy. about no? Dude, Dented Flask is very good. That's very bad. He just buffed himself up a bunch of times. Yeah, Dented Flask is really strong. I like it. Make it, like, it's gonna be real good. Um, beat over the head. Bay watching, careful. Chat, he's bay watching. I think I kill him if I attack. Because you go first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was the time to go aggressive. That's what we were looking for. I was kind of hoping she would get her focus, but that's okay. New ability unlock, provide opportunity, wait the delay. Then swap turn order with an ally. Oh, he gained another one. See, that's the thing. So we're gaining randomly. Kind of. Right? We're only gaining one at a time, I guess. I don't know if that's... I don't know if I like that. Okay, so wait the delay, then swap turn order with an ally? I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe, like, I could, I could speed some... I could speed up Anna then, I guess. All right, secured stash. Unlikely successful. Force it open. We got food. Hell yeah. Go us. All right, storehouse. You have to actually eat when you go here, which is interesting. I'm going to heal to full, though. Here we go. Boss time. Hound Walker. All right, we'll beat this boss. Then we'll do the HelloFresh segment. Oh, boy. This time I have some fun stuff to talk about with HelloFresh. Like, it's not... I shouldn't say... Oh, wait. I, I just realized I got Blight Triumph instead of um, Ruthless Intimidation. Damn, I actually need Ruthless Intimidation. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not going to let these dogs get out of control. We have to kill the... Uh, sorry. We have to beat up the zombie four-legged companions. 
with cylindrical propulsion devices and cylindrical bludgeoning padding devices and uh and uh and a fireplace fueler device That'll lessen the blow. Good job, dude. That won't kill. I need to do this. Ah. It's okay. He won't focus in time. He's gonna. He's gonna take himself out. This. This buffing is bad. Who's buffing? You're buffing. You're attacking him. Um. Sucks. Um, I'm gonna bleed him here a little bit. That's that's what we need right there. Um, stack. So that could bring that could bring Anna back up. That's cool. That you could time. That's really neat. He just loses a lot of turn, which is okay. Uh, Katarina's gonna get a little hurt. By seasoned hook? Not worried about that yet. I just need him to. I need him to get as low as possible. It's a bit of a deep race. Yeah, I'll take damage here. Yeah, that's exactly why we need to be careful because they're all buffing. Oh my dear God! Please to be not buffing. This is real bad. <laughs> this fight gets out of control real quick. We need to just... You know what? Just keep going. Just keep going. We gotta... Doesn't matter who's getting attacked. Use your armor. Because him but Like, he just literally gets every attack. He just summons a hound. It's kind of unreal. Kind of. But not unbelievable. Um, Carnage? What are you doing? You're buffing, right? Yeah, you need, you need to go. Do I need to use that? How much is this? 12, 15, 18? It doesn't get rid of them. I'm gonna hope this works. It didn't work! I low rolled! No, RNG! It's over. The fight is over. I could have just carnaged. It would have been the same length, honestly, so we, we made the quote unquote better move, I guess. It's just now everything's gonna get real. The, mu the music is, is fitting to what's happening right now. Yeah, the best defense here is going to be a damn good offense. Those are both gone. <laughs> damn it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's got to be. He didn't bleed out. I lose Janice. Easy peasy. Uh. Oh, I lose Katarina rather. Like, you can't prevent that. You just... Just... It's just... That's really unfortunate. Unhinged Intimidation. Vinyl Record. Range attacks deal plus three damage to enemies that don't have any protection. Limited Edition. Nice. Who do I meet? Dimitri. Violent and empathetic. What are you... Nimble strikes, three damage to all enemies, sneak past guards. Sneak past guards. Oh, cool. He can attack the back line. Uh, say it is a mark a unit, gain focus when marked unit is attacked. Mark a unit, gain focus when marked unit is attacked in the next 30 ticks. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Deal nine damage, reduce targets, focus by two. Oh, that would be brilliant. But that, that cooldown seems really bad for that, though. Because I don't... What happens if they already gain their focus? If you lose focus, do you lose the buff from said focus? Yeah, 
Impossible, impossible. Very unlikely. Do it. Was it meant for human consumption? All right. Well, this is a very interesting game. I think it needs more time in the cooker. Needs more time in the in the in the crock pot, uh, or I need more time with it. But I enjoyed it. It was it was fun. I just I I need I need more time to understand the pace of the game, because I feel like losing a character that easily should not be what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? But I also... I don't know. Maybe I am supposed to lose people. That's the inevitability. Like, probably in some capacity. But I feel like I'm just... I like I, I feel like I'm making either the wrong decisions or I'm not seeing the decisions available. You know what I mean? I don't know how to say that. Okay. Let me set up HelloFresh here. We're going to do that right now. Probably going to use the bathroom before we do it as well. Guys, look at code. Yay! Good job, Pro Pokebot. Because we've been live actually for two hours, so I need to take a break regardless. It's something my hand is asleep. My sleep. It's super pinched. I'm not sure why. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna take a break, uh, and then I'm just pulling up all the all the things I need here, and then we come back. We're gonna do the HelloFresh sponsorship. I need Loading for me. Hold on.
back. Hi. Okay, so we have a problem here. Um, it won't let me use my... Cr it, first of all, it just ordered three boxes for me without me choosing that. Because I reactivated my account because I had to. But it won't let me use this code because it says I'm already a member. Which is not supposed to happen. second you're not gonna figure it might just be doing this at 11 30 after all yeah the internet my internet's been weak all day so i'm not quite sure what's going on but you know canada it's just canada Rogers. Uh... Hello? Oh, I guess I logged in with this. Sorry, guys. Just give me one moment here. I need this to work. Otherwise, it's costing me a lot of money it's not supposed to. Which is not the point of the sponsorship. Yeah, it says I can no longer edit. I'm just receiving packages, which is not supposed to happen. Okay. <laughs> it, uh huh. This is gonna be really hard to show off if I don't have an account I can show it off with. I might have to contact them. That's crappy. Like it didn't even it didn't even give me an option to choose my orders. It just said, "Hey, you're back. Reactivated here. Have your order." That's not what's supposed to happen. Although apparently I'm getting pork and mushroom soup, loaded bunless beef burgers and chicken burger bulgar bowls. That's I can't even go to like the normal page. 
Like if I click if I click the link, even just to see if I can do it, it won't let me go there. That's the funny part. Oh, here we go. As this offer is expired. What? Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna have to make. Give me, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna send him an. I'm gonna send him an email. Uh, if we could do the sponsorship today, we'll do it today. If not, we'll have to do it another day, or or it's a bust because I'm not sure what's going on. So